Hi, I'm Jules, a speech pathologist of 14 years. Today we're going to go through the L sound. So L as in lolly or love. And this sound typically can come quite early at say three years of age, but if it's not there by about three and a half, closer to four, then we would suggest potentially chatting to a speech pathologist. Um, you won't, children won't fully master all their L sounds in like clusters. That's where like two sounds are together, like flash and fly until maybe six years of age. But basically we want to get that L sound started. So the first thing we do is teach how to say the L. We do that with a mirror. What I'll do is I'll say to the children, we're going to learn a new sound. I'm going to have a turn. You're going to have a turn. I'll show them a mirror so they can see their tongue going up. If mum and dad are okay with it, it's okay to dip a spoon in some Nutella or honey to show them where they're going to touch with their tongue at the front. So this is a front sound. And basically I'm going to show them like this. Uh, if they're not sure, we can use a physical prompt just like an upside down spoon and ask them to put their tongue there. So you can hold it there. Uh, or if children really struggle with this imitation about getting their tongue up, sometimes I'll get them to overdo it and I'll get them to actually stick their tongue out like this. Uh, that way they're at least getting that concept of up and vocalizing. It's just a, a vowel sound like uh, uh. That is the first step. So as you know, there are about 10 steps with learning speech sounds, but we always start with just the sound by itself. So children who are finding it hard to say L's will often use a W instead. So instead of Lucy, they'll say Woosie, or they might say their L like a Y. So instead of Lucky, they'll say Yucky. So they'll be using a Y sound. So basically we wanna let them know, put their tongue at the front and up, and I'll start doing 10. So I'll do it with them and I'll be going uh, uh, and having them look at my mouth, having them look in the mirror. We we'll use the back of a spoon to get, make sure that their tongue is going up. Once they're doing really well with that L, I'm gonna add a vowel, okay? I always add pictures as well. So if I'm doing la, I might have a picture of a little kid singing la. So that way they're associating it with an actual word. I always put a space between the first sound, like the L, and the rest of the word. Otherwise, you're gonna hear, for let's say like um, Lucy, you're gonna hear uh, uh, Lucy. So they're still gonna put the word in. So we wanna put a space. So have a listen. I'll go Lucy, Lucy, and then we speed it up with some confidence. So, that's just basically step one of how we do the L sound.